Hello, I'm Chris Menard. Today's video is going to focus on Zoom and specifically the password requirements they have for the two type of meetings. There's an instant meeting or a join now meeting, plus there is schedule a meeting. I'm going to cover everything including the settings you have when you're signed into Zoom on the web. So I have uh, a browser running and I've already signed into Zoom. This applies whether you have a paid account or a free account. Just to show you this before I get started with the password information, I'm on my profile. I'm going to actually show you my personal meeting ID. I don't care that you see it because I'm going to change it as soon as this video is over. So there's my personal meeting ID. I also want to show you that under my settings over here to the left is settings. I went before I made this video and I have every default setting the Zoom has. And the way I know that is, as an example, require a password for instant meetings. That is turned on. So if I turn it off, the word reset and modified is now over here. If I hit reset, it puts it back to the default. So I have no resets in my Zoom settings. And also to cover this, I'm going to do a control F on the keyboard. And this video is about passwords, so I'm going to type in the word password. Password is listed 14 times. Don't get worried, this video is not going to go that long because it keeps mentioning it within each little area. For example, password, password, password. There's three passwords just for this. So let me show you how these settings work. But the first thing I'm going to cover, and probably one of the most important, is how to schedule a meeting with Zoom and why you want to turn that password on. So let me go ahead and jump over to Zoom. I already have the Zoom app running. So I've signed into the Zoom app on my desktop. There are two type of meetings in Zoom. There's a schedule a meeting, and there's also called an instant meeting. In fact, back over here in my profile, just to show you they call it instant meeting, use this ID for instant meetings. But when you're back in the Zoom app, it just says new meeting. New meeting is instant meeting. There's schedule a meeting. So there's the two type of meetings you have. I'm going to discuss schedule first. And just to be clear about schedule, it doesn't matter if I schedule here from the Zoom app or if you're an Outlook user, I've already got Outlook running. Here is the ribbon in Outlook. There is Zoom as a group. Schedule a meeting and start an instant meeting. So I'm going to go ahead and go with the default. I've got the app running. I'm going to select schedule a meeting. Just a, just a tip here, and I do recommend you do this. The topic always says your name in either Zoom meeting or Zoom personal meeting. I recommend you make that very specific for what you're meeting about. Because if you jump to meetings in the app, I'm sorry, I'm jumping around, but I got to here. I'm in the app right here, meetings. If it just says Chris Menard Zoom meeting, it's going to say it every time down here for the next 20 meetings I have. I don't want that. I prefer it say budget meeting, marketing meeting, um, uh, team meeting, whatever. So be very specific about your schedule. So let me jump back to home, schedule. So change that if you would. Budget meeting for 2022. Just making up a name. I don't care about the duration. So every meeting, you can either have a password or not have a password. The default now with Zoom is to have a password for every meeting. And I like that feature because Zoom's been getting knocked around about their security. <clears throat> there was a program or a tool created that was finding Zoom meeting IDs. And if you put a password on it, it wouldn't find it. So that's why I'm always recommending have a password. So 
I've got a scheduled meeting. I can either use my personal meeting ID, which I just showed you, but I'm going to do a generate automatically. Generate automatically. If I schedule a meeting after this, so Sunday, April 19th, 12 p.m., if I schedule a meeting at 1.30 p.m., I'm going to get a completely different meeting ID and I'm going to get a completely different password. So two things change every time you schedule a meeting with Generate Automatically. So there is a six number password. I don't care about these settings here. These are optional. I would probably do this for me. This is just me. I don't care if they're off. Definitely leave that one running. I'm going to use Outlook. I'm not discussing advanced options right now. I'm a huge fan of the waiting room, but that's in another video. So down at the bottom, it says schedule. I know you can't see it, but I'm going to hit schedule. And Outlook appears. I want to point out, I want to prove that if when you schedule a meeting with a dynamic ID, the, ID, the meeting ID changes and the password changes. Y'all know my memory's bad, so I'm going to screenshot this. Just to send this off to somebody, I will send this to my Gmail account. There we go. I didn't have to send it. Here we go again. Schedule. Completely different password than what I had running before, which was... six seven eight were the last three digits completely different password completely different meeting number here make it for 1 p.m. again change that at the top click schedule I'm not going to we're good on this so every meeting that you schedule make sure you have password turned on and uh, the password will change and the meeting ID will change that's really going to help you with your security. I'm not discussing waiting rooms right now. I'm not discussing lock this meeting right now. One item I need to point out though, if you're over in Outlook, the exact same thing applies. So if I go to schedule a meeting, everything I just told you is still true. Generate automatically. The password is still going to change. So whether you're scheduling an Outlook or starting off in the Zoom app, Two things change, the meeting ID and the password. Now, uh, back to Zoom. One thing I do need to discuss, if you go to schedule again, because I know I'm going to get this question, I've seen it before. If you do a recurring meeting, the meeting ID will stay the same and so will the password for that recurring period. So if I'm meeting once a week for four meetings, I'm going to have the same meeting ID and the same password because it's a recurring meeting for those four meetings. Let's just test that real quick. Well, there's no need to test it. Just, I've already tested it, so I don't want to show you that. But the, this password is going to stay the same right here for all four meetings cancel that out so hopefully that answers that question now the next one is what happens with an instant meeting so instant meeting is right here if you hit this arrow start with video or start without I don't care that's up to you but right now it says use my personal meeting ID I'm gonna pull up my little notes here just as a quick review so we've covered scheduled meetings always always to me use generate automatically and always use a password so scheduled meeting should always be generated automatically which changes the number and they always get a new password uh, recurring meetings I showed you that one scheduled meetings generate automatically you're gonna have the same password and same meeting ID for each one for recurring but now we're discussing meet now or instant meetings so this is the meet now or instant. I don't care about the video. I'm going to do this without my personal meeting ID just to show you what happens. So here we go. Zoom's going to crank up and ask me do I know how do I want to join. Let me pull this up just a tad for you. 
I'm going to close this. Here's Zoom's new security feature. It used to say invite down here on the meeting controls. It now says security. Click up in the top if you want to see my video about this. Really, really cool features here. I'm not discussing that in this one though. I do want to point out this was a randomly generated meeting. Also, because invite's not here, if you want to see if there's a password, you come up here to the top left and click. There better be, sure enough, 028046. Just remember the last four digits of this meeting ID, 1841. And there's the password again. I'm going to end this meeting and start another one immediately. Top left, click, completely different meeting ID, completely different password. So a scheduled meeting and a meet now, if you're doing a um, generate meeting automatically, still stays the same. New meeting number, new password, which is good. Again, I'm recommending if this was me, we end this meeting. I would make sure that when I click on meet now or instant meeting that I do have a password. How about if you want to use your personal meeting ID? So I'm going to check use my personal meeting ID. If you recall back in Zoom settings, let me jump back over there. Here are settings. Remember I typed in password earlier and did a control F password. Use my personal meeting ID when scheduling a meeting. I have that turned off. So basically it's using dynamic, which I just proved. Use my personal meeting ID when starting an instant meeting. I'm sorry, the schedule meeting was not using my personal meeting ID, which is good. Use my personal meeting ID when starting an instant meeting. That's what I'm doing right now is off. And I just proved it twice. They got two different meeting IDs. What I wanted to show you is Require a password for instant meetings is on. That's why I'm getting the password in there. But then you've got the option, okay, what if you have an instant meeting and you want to use your personal meeting ID? Notice, I don't care that you see my password. Whether you have the paid account or the free account, you can change that password. So I'm going to change it the, meeting, the minute this meeting's over. 432765. If you think about those numbers, they're easy to remember. The number four, go back twice. The number seven, go back twice. I came up with that. No big deal. You can always change that, which I'll do after this meeting right here. So my personal meeting ID is going to have a password. So here we go. Use my personal meeting ID. Just to show you this, it should have that 432765. So here's an instant meeting using my personal meeting ID. Minor tip, I know this is a personal meeting because it says Chris Menard's personal meeting room instead of Chris Menard's meeting room. There's my meeting ID, which does not change because it's a personal meeting ID. The passwords on your personal meeting ID will always be the same. So here's a question that I was asked on my YouTube channel. Can I use my personal meeting ID and have different passwords when I'm scheduling meetings? The answer is no. One password for the personal meeting ID. So I'm going to end this meeting. So for someone to quickly meet with me, let me, let me back up just a second. I only use my personal meeting ID whether I'm scheduling, actually, I never use it when I'm scheduling. I always use the generate automatically. For a quick or instant meeting, the only people that have my personal meeting ID are people I really trust. The guy that does my website, Christian, he has it, but now he has my password also. If, if the question is, is there ever a time you would use your personal meeting ID, for a scheduled meeting, the answer is no. For me, would you use your personal meeting ID for an instant meeting without a password? The answer is possibly, 
but it's a very rare circumstance. I would have to go and lock that meeting once that one person joins me and I know who they are, but I don't even want to get into that. So just keep using the passwords that you have right here. One more test. So I proved that when you, whether you schedule a meeting or do an instant meeting and you generate the ID automatically, it changes. But with your personal meeting ID, I told you the meeting ID stays the same, which it did, and my password, because now I'm in another meeting right now. If I change this password, which I showed you in settings, it changes it for every personal meeting that I have. I believe you can also change it right here in the Zoom app, and you can. Seven five two eight six three. Save. Let's test it. Still turned on. Start one. It should be seven five two eight six three, and it is. Any meetings? If I had scheduled a meeting with my personal meeting ID, which I just told you not to do, that password is now seven five two eight six three, regardless of what it was before. Anyway, I hope this helps with these passwords. Um, real quick summary, let me pull up my notes. When scheduling a meeting, just always use a generate automatically and always use a password. Both will always change unless it's a recurring meeting, but it stays the same for the recurring meeting. Seldom do I use my personal meeting ID, and if it is, it's only for a instant meeting and only with people that I trust. Anyway, keep the questions coming about Zoom. I appreciate your time. Everyone have a good weekend. Thank you.